Hey kids, it's me, Mr. Archer. I'm back with Blender today. All right, it's getting nice outside, so I figured we'd fill up the pool. Last week we discussed a fire simulation. Why not do a liquid simulation today? Okay, with Blender open, we have our default 3D scene. We're going to take our cube here, and let's go to our front view by hitting one on our number pad. I'm gonna scale this up. Go, how about that? Okay, let's switch over to wireframe view. So, up in the upper right here, let's change our viewport settings to wireframe. And at the world center, let's add another cube under mesh and cube. Okay, so let's treat the outer cube as our domain and the inner cube as our flow source for our liquid. So, we go back to one. We'll choose our outer cube as our domain. We'll go off to the right under particle properties or physics properties. Sorry, we're going to choose fluid. And under type, let's choose domain. All these settings come up and it defaults to gas. So make sure you change the domain type to liquid. Okay, and we can scroll down. And we're going to change a few settings, but we'll leave most of them the same. We're going to select mesh here and drop that down. Make sure liquid's selected. And let's go to replay. Let's change this to modular. Okay. We get a couple of extra options there. We'll change this from 50 frames to 250 frames to match our end, our default end frame, 250. Okay, now let's select our inner cube. We'll go over to physics properties, select fluid. Under type, select flow. Defaults to smoke, so we'll change that to liquid. And then instead of geometry, where the liquid here will just kind of drop down, we want to change it to an inflow. So it's more like you know the garden hose you, you use for your pool. It just keeps spitting out water. So under initial velocity, let's change this to on the x value to about say five. Oops. Five. Okay. And let's take our cue, we'll rotate it on the x axis here. Actually the y axis. So R kind of point it down like that and we'll hit G for grab move up about there okay now if we go back to our domain by selecting our outer cube we see our domain settings we're gonna choose bake data let's make sure we're on frame one okay this may take a minute Okay, at the bottom you'll see in blue uh, fluid baked data complete. Okay, now we can go underneath here. We hit bake mesh. So make sure you have to do the top one first, then you can do bake mesh. And here with our fluid, uh, our flow uh, source right here, you can see the particles being generated there. And again, this baking process takes a little bit. There. All right. Now, if we use our middle mouse button, we can wheel around, zoom out. We can hit play. Sploosh. Cool, huh? All right. I'm going to change my viewport settings up to solid. There. There. And our pool's getting nice and filled. If we can go relax in the sun. All right, kids, that's all I have for today. Bye.